Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to find the investor's optimal portfolio. So let's get started. So remember, we had this capital allocation line data frame here. And remember, we talked about this utility function in length here. What we're going to do is we're essentially going to find the largest value for our utility. And we have all these utility values in this column here, and we're going to find the largest value here. And that will be, that will be the optimal portfolio. So let's do that in Python. So first thing is we're just going to take our capital allocation line here and we're going to look at a utility column. And we're just going to use the IDX max index max function. Let's just run that. So there we go. It's 10. And again, we can just plug that into our entire data frame and use the iLock function. And we can just copy this here. So remember iLock, it takes in an index number value, run that, and there we go. There's our investor's portfolio. Given our risk aversion of, I believe we specified was five. So again, let's let's plot this first, and then we'll change it and see how that changes um, our investor's portfolio. And remember, we can interpret this as, as, this is our return, and this is our standard deviation. For, so for a standard deviation of 10% and a return of 7.7%, that is the optimal portfolio, given a risk aversion of five. So let's try to plot this. So I'm just going to copy what we have here, our set of plots. And so we can plot. Now let's actually plot our investor's portfolio. So we're going to say plt.plot. And I actually need to specify this. So we'll say this is investor's portfolio equals that, like so. We'll run that. And we'll add this just to make it easier for everybody. There we go, now we can just plot that. So we'll say investors portfolio and two because we want the standard deviation, which is 10%. So that's the x-axis. And then we want the investors portfolio and that will be one because we want the y-axis, which is the returns. So we can plot that and I'm just gonna say, Oh, for that, minute. and the color we're going to choose here is, there we go. So there's our investor's portfolio, optimal portfolio. Now, notice that we can change that depending on the risk aversion. So let's say that our risk aversion coefficient is zero. Let's see what that looks like. And so if that's zero, what is that going to mean for our utility function? Well, essentially, it's going to be this the largest expected return, the flow with the largest expected return. So we should get this value all the way out here. It's basically the, the risky portfolio. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So we'll just run everything. And there it is. That's the expected return of the optimal risky portfolio. And actually, greater than that, the portfolio greater than expected return. And then again, we can also change the risk aversion coefficient to 10. Let's see what that does. Plot that. There we go. And you can sell that. You can see that the optimal portfolio for investor is 5% standard deviation and a 5.1% return given a risk aversion coefficient of 10. So that is how we find our investor's optimal portfolio. If you like this video, please subscribe. Till next time. Thank you.